All right, this is a fun little demonstration. I want to show you the basics of blue-green and canary deployments to give you a feel for how those things work. And of course, this leverages Istio, my Istio running on top of OpenShift in this case. So you can kind of see I have a, a bunch of browsers here. I have a regular desktop Chrome. I have a Chrome set for iPhone. I have a Chrome set for Android. And I have a, a Firefox uh, as well. So they're all set to the blue deployment, OK? And you can kind of see that I have a bunch of pods running here. There's blue pods, canary pods, green pods, but everybody is visiting the blue pods right now because I have a virtual service that basically says point everyone to blue. Okay, point everyone to blue. So let's actually point everyone to green. So if I come over and say, let's point everyone to green and hit return there, it's gonna change that virtual service and everyone goes over to green, okay? And so blue, green. If I wanna come back and make everyone blue, again, it's very straightforward, make everyone blue. But this is where it gets really exciting to use uh, Istio in this case, because Istio blue-green deployment, you could do that with regular Kubernetes or vanilla OpenShift, no big deal there. But when you can do a percentage or actually look at specific message headers, so let me bring up my Visual Studio code, and I want to show you this little bit of code right here. This is a virtual service that basically says send everybody in Android land. Everybody in Android land gets the canary. Everyone else gets the regular old vanilla green. Okay, that's I know it's a lot going on here, but that's basically what this says. Everybody goes to everybody in Android land goes to Canary. Everyone else goes to green. Okay, so let me, let's try to apply that one. That's called virtual service Canary Android YAML. So let's make sure let's get that one right away. So virtual service and Canary Android. And so our Android users will go from uh, to Canary. So that's the one right there, that third window, if you will. And then everyone else should go green. So let's see if we get that. We have our three greens and one yellow. All right. And you'll notice also the pod identifier changes. We're basically serving the pod name from the server side to the client side. That's what you see here. And also it has a different greeting. In this case, bonjour. All right. And so there's one user on the canary pod. The rest are on the green pods. And then if I come back now, uh, let's try the, instead of Android, let's switch it to iPhone. I think I have an iPhone one here. Yep, let's go, let's, instead of Android users getting the canary, let iPhone users get the canary. So we're gonna switch it now to iPhone, right? So iPhone gets the canary. But the whole point of this is where you can basically route traffic based on different types of parameters, whether it be is the user logged in, or any kind of cookie, anything in the HTTP header can be used as a routing uh, rule, including just raw percentages, where I can say just 10% of the users go to this one location or 100% goes to a different location. And then you can actually have a really nice advanced traffic shifting methodology leveraging Istio to do blue-green and canary rollouts across your user base. And this makes microservices ever safer to deploy across a cluster, and in this case, across a large user base.